that radically changed her life. She's the senior pastor of River of God Galleria and heads ROG Supernatural Ministry. Her passion is to see the saints yeah. activated in their spiritual gifts and operate in the supernatural realm through signs, wonders, and miracles, and of course, healing for all for the purpose of expanding God's kingdom. Her love for children leads her to open an orphanage, katulad na nakita nyo kanina sa AVP, uh, 20 years ago and is now converted into a school which offers quality Christian education. Kung gusto nyo hong uh, makatulong, uh, River, F River Springs is, um, is a school, a Christian school in, in Pinagbuhatan Pasig that you can donate na pwede kayo magpaaral. Kaya please, we do encourage you to visit River, River Springs um, Facebook. And of course, because of this, regardless of race, religion, and, econ and economic status, yan ang binubuo ng River Springs. She started a movement called Women Arise that aims to encourage the women to rise up for Christ and be bold to proclaim the gospel to the world by walking in partnership with men. Please give God the best clap offering for the life of Pastora Rachel, Rachel Sanchez. Sanchez. Hallelujah! Wow! Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, pinagpala ka. Hala! Nakikita niyo pa ba ako? Mukhang taas nitong pulpito sa akin. Anyway, happy anniversary, River of God! Wow! Wow! No, the place is burning. Kasi sabi natin, fire of God. Nandito ba Panginoon ngayon? Yeah. Hallelujah! I, do you believe Jesus is here? Yeah. You know, kailangan mag-taglish ako kasi mamaya puro ingles na yung marinig nyo. Ama, sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, when two or three are gathered in His name, nandyan siya, nandyan ang presensya niya. Nararamdaman nyo ba siya? Amen, amen. Alam mo, dapat expectant kayo. Pag kayo pumupunta sa isang gathering, lalo na ngayon, this is activate, actually, I think number six. Activate six, ang pinag-uusapan natin, ang banal na espiritu. Siya lang ang kumikilos. He's the one. When the Holy Spirit is here, He's the one. You know, Siya yung leader. Siya yung ating pinaka-leader sa ating gathering. Siya yung dapat nasusunod. Do I hear an Amen. Amen. So today is the 1st of September. Ang bilis ng panahon, di po ba? Narinig niyo ba sa bol, kumakanta na sila ng Christmas carols? Nagsimula na po. Kaya ito, matatapos na po ang taon na 2019. At sa susunod na taon is 2020 na. Grabe. Alam niyo ba ibig sabihin ng 2020? Vision. Malinaw na Vision. Yan ay bibigay ng Panginoon sa atin, River of God. I had the teaching on this or a preaching and a, a prophecy that the Lord has given us way, way, last early 2020, actually, I would say, mid of 2019, sinabi sa akin ng Panginoon ito na ang 2020 will be a clear vision. It may be trouble for some, but you know what? For us, especially here for the Philippines, I'm believing for a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Now, because it is the anniversary, and because this is Activate, I just want to talk about the greatest gift that God has given His church, and that is the Holy Spirit. Amen? Kaya po tayo nagsasama-sama dito, kasi pag pinag-usapan natin ng Activate, ang pinag-usapan natin ang banal na Espiritu. And the Holy Spirit is the greatest gift that God has given His church. The Church of Jesus Christ, sabi mo, ako yan! Ikaw ba talaga yan? Sigurado mo? Amen. Alam nyo ba, without the Holy Spirit, without the Holy Spirit, we cannot make anything active. Kaya activate ang sabi natin. Anything will not be operative or active without the presence of the Holy Spirit. Patay ang iglesia. If the Holy Spirit is not here, the church is dead. Tama po ba? Kaya nga, Ang problema lang po, ang napansin ko, a lot of Christians, believers of Jesus Christ, is not aware kung bakit binigay ang banal na Espiritu. A lot of Christians are not aware why the Holy Spirit was given to them. Tanungin mo yung katabi mo, ask your neighbor, do you know why the Holy Spirit 
was given to you? Tanongin mo, alam mo ba, you know why the Holy Spirit is given to you? Alam mo ba? Ano sagot? Alam niya? Wow, baka hindi niya alam. Kasi kung alam niya, hindi ganyan siya. <laughs> you know, eto sasabihin sa inyo, two things na nangyari. When Jesus died, there were two things that happened. The first thing that happened is when He died, His blood that was shed on Calvary, alam naman po natin to, ang ginawa po niya ay gumawa siya ng paraan so that we will be restored with the right relationship with our God. Amen? Yung po yung reconciliation. Kaya Jesus Christ is the gift of God to the unsaved world. Amen? So ang pangalawang nangyari, sa, uh, nung namatay ang ating Panginoon, nag-ascension siya. He went to heaven and it opened up His departure, opened up the coming of the Holy Spirit. Tama po ba? That's why we need the Holy Spirit is the deposit for every believer's life. Kaya po siya, yan ang nangyaring sumurod, He is the gift to the church. Kasi alam ng Panginoon na kailangan natin ang banal na Espiritu. Amen. Now, punta po tayo sa Acts 1.4. Okay? Tingnan natin. Sabay-sabay po natin itong basahin habang aalisin ko po jacket ko. Sobra pong init dito. Okay. One, two, three. Come on. And being assembled together with them, He commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which He said, you have heard from me. Okay, Luke 24, 49. Alam niyo kung bakit ako nagmamadali? Why I'm a bit rushing? I'm only given 45 minutes. I will take my time. Thank you, you said so. All right, Luke 24, 49. Let's read it. Jesus said, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. Basahin nato yung NLT, mas magandang version pagdating to sa chapter nato. Luke 24, 49. One, two, three. Read it. And now, I will send just as my Father promised. But stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you with power from heaven. Did you see that? The Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, promised the Holy Spirit. Nangako po ang Panginoon na padadala nila ang banal na Espiritu sa lahat ng mga mana ng palataya. But you know what? Importante, you have to receive Jesus Christ and His Spirit will dwell in you. If you want the Holy Spirit, you need to receive Him and once He is in you, you need to build a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Do I hear an Amen. The question is, tanungin mo yung katabi mo, ask your neighbor, when was the last time you talked to the Holy Spirit? Kailan ba? When was the last time you fellowship with the Holy Spirit? When was the last time you communed with the Holy Spirit? Kailan mo siya huling kinausap? You know what communion means? Communion is from the root word commune. Ano ibig sabihin ng commune? It is sharing your innermost, your thoughts. Lahat na nasa loob mo, gusto mong iparinig sa Kanya. Gusto mong ibigay sa Kanya. That's the way to commune. Parang kaibigan mo siya. Do I hear an amen? Pero ang problema, hindi natin siya kinakausap. May pinagdadaanan, walang sinasabihan. Ang sinasabihan, Facebook. Hello? Ang sinasabihan, mga kaibigan, mali pa advice. You need to talk to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! You know, the Holy Spirit is the greatest gift. He is the living presence of the Lord dwelling and abiding in a believer's life. Siya po ay buhay. The Holy Spirit is God. Do I hear an amen? He is a person. He is alive. And He is right now being manifested in this area right now. Nararamdaman niyo ba siya? 
naramdaman ko siya. And I know it. Kanina habang maawit tayo, habang sumasamba tayo during the time of worship. He is the presence. He is the manifested presence. His omnipresence anywhere around us, surround us. This morning when I was praying and I said, Lord, I just ask for your presence. And I saw the dome, yung kuneta, tinakpan niya ng pulang-pulang blanket. As if we are under the wings of God. Red speaks of passion. Red speaks of the blood of Jesus. And this place is a holy ground. This place is a holy ground. And I'm excited because I can feel Him right now. I can feel Him right now. And when you talk about the Holy Spirit, you know the good news is, He comes. Dumadating siya. Do you believe this? Wow. God is good. He is the living presence. And that is the kanina yun yung naramdaman natin. He is moving in this room. And there's another kind of presence. And what you call indwelling. Na kapag tinanggap mo ang Panginoon, siya ay mananahan sa iyong puso. How do I know? How do I know that the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside me? Paano natin alalaman na ang banal na Espiritu ay nasa atin? Sabi po sa John 3, 5-7. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. Tignan natin yung NLT. That's why I want to expound a little bit on this. Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the Spirit. Humans can reproduce only human, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised. Hello, sabi mo sa katabi mo, wag kang magulat. You must be born again. Kung may bisita po tayo ngayon, gusto ko lang maunawaan nyo, you are in a place where we celebrate the Holy Spirit. Hindi makakarating ang river of God sa 20th year niya. Hindi tayo dadami na daw. Isipin nyo, this is Luzon pa lang. Marami pa po tayong mga churches sa iba't ibang lugar at sa international. Gusto ko maunawaan nyo, dahil po kami na mag-asawa, wala po kaming ginawa kundi hingin ang kanyang counsel. We pray to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to guide our steps. We don't want to be ahead of God. We don't want to be behind of God. We, walk to, we want to walk alongside the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Yan ang dapat natin gawin. Alam nyo, this year, for 2019, the Lord spoke to me and He gave me two words. Marami po siyang sinabi for 2019. But one or the two words, or I would say two things na binigay niya sa akin, new man, bagong tao, new beginning, bagong pasimula. Yan ang binibigay niya ngayon sa atin mga kapatid. Kung ikaw, kailangan mo maunawaan ito, very prophetic ito. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, it's time for you to know Him. In John 20, verse 22, then he breathed on him and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. When we wholeheartedly repent, kung tayo po ay tunay na magsisisi, at tayo ay mananalangin, at tayo ay tatanggapin natin, and we confess that Jesus is our Lord and Savior today, ngayon pong araw na to, you will receive the Holy Spirit. Sa aming mga bisita, especially those who do not know Jesus, and you want to be healed of anything, any infirmity that you may have now, the healer is the Holy Spirit. Amen! Iniimbitahan ko po kayo. Kaya ang tanong is, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Mga kapatid, alam ko ang iba sa inyo, nag kayo. At kung meron po tayong guest ngayon na hindi mo pa kilala ang Panginoon, at naniniwala ka na namatay siya para sa iyong kasalanan, naniniwala ka na siya'y pinako para sa iyo, siya ang substitute mo sa krus na yan, ngayon, iniimbitahan kita. 
Naniniwala ka buhay si Kristo. Naniniwala ka na siya ang iyong Panginoon. Tumayo ka kapatid kung sino man ngayon ang gusto magbigay ng buhay niya sa Panginoong Jesus. Tumayo ka lamang and we will pray a very short prayer. You know why? Hindi mo matatanggap ang banal na espiritu kung nakikinig ka lang. This is the day. Walang coincidence under heaven. You are here because God wants you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the Holy Spirit will dwell inside you. Tumayo ka kapatid. Meron ba mga nakatayo dyan? Hallelujah. Yung mga gustong subuko ng buhay nila. Iniimpitahan ko lang kayo sa maliit na panalangin. Nagpapasalamat ako, binigyan ako ng additional na 10 minutes. Kaya mga kapatid, yung mga tumayo, let's pray. Sabihin po natin to, let's confess it. Mean it in your heart. Talagang namnamin nyo at sabihin niyo, Panginoong Jesus, iniimpitahan ko ito ngayon. Sa araw na ito, ibinibigay ko sa iyo ang aking puso. Naniniwala ako na namatay ka para sa aking mga kasalanan. Nagpapasalamat ako na ikaw ang kumuha ng aking kasalanan. Sa araw na ito, be the Lord of my life. Be my Savior. I surrender my life to you. Amen and amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. If you said that prayer, if you confess and you repented and you really invited Jesus in your heart, I want you to know, ang tawag sa iyo kapatid ay born again believer. Amen! At ang pangalan mo ay nakasulat na sa aklat ng buhay. At ang mga anghel sa langit ay nagre-rejoice dahil tinanggap mo ang Panginoon. You are a born again person. You are now a new man. You are now a new creation. At ang masarap dito, bagong panimula. Ikaw ay bagong silang na. And the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside you. This is what you call the new man or a new creation. You have now a new birth. Ang tawag dyan, bagong silang ka na. Hallelujah. Very prophetic. May church po kami sa lugar na barangay. Bagong silang. Iba, sandat sa amin. Grabe po ang aming mga ginagawa ng Panginoon sa buhay namin. At ang aming unang iglesia. Alam niyo po ang ginawa natin. unang-una nating iglesia ay sa barangay pinagbuhatan. Grabe. Pinagbuhatan ng lahat. Ng lahat ng ministry ng River of God. God is talking to us. God is good. Let me tell you this. Abalik tayo sa sinabi ng, pangani, kani, ng Panginoon kanina sa Acts 1.4. Ano sabi ng Panginoon? Wait in Jerusalem. Sabi niya sa kanyang mga disciple, Wait in Jerusalem. Maghintay ka. Maghintay kayo. Sabi niya sa kanyang mga disipulo. Maghintay kayo. Bakit? Kay sino kailangan nilang hintayin? They were waiting. Ano sino ba hinihintay nila? Ang hinihintay po nila is the power the promise of the Father and the Son. And that power is the Holy Spirit. Sabi ng Panginoon, maghintay ka. And you know what happened? Sa mga nakakalam ng story, you know it. That was in Acts 1. Pagdating ng Acts 2, what happened in Acts 2? They received at the upper room, the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples and they received the Holy Spirit, tongues of fire sat upon them, ang sabi ng salita, and they spoke in other tongues. Grabe po, di ba? Dumating ang banal na presensya. Kaya sometimes, sabi mo sa katabi mo, it pays to obey. Obedience! Ano nangyari? Sumunod sila at ang nangyari, natanggap nila ang banal na Espiritu. They received the Holy Spirit! Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, makinig ka naman. Kaya wala eh, hindi ka nakikinig. Amen? Balik tayo sa ating teksto. Isn't that interesting that Jesus commanded His disciples to wait? Sabi ng Panginoon, wait! Maghintay ka! So the question is, why did Jesus command His disciples to wait? Bakit pinahintay ng Panginoon ang, 
ayaw mga disipulo maghintay kayo. Why did Jesus want them to receive the promise first bago sila humayo? Bakit kailangang tanggapin muna nila ang banal na espiritu, ma-fill sila ng banal na espiritu first bago sila umalis at mag-witness? Why? You know why? Tanungin mo sa katabi mo, alam mo ba kung bakit? Jesus knew without the help of the Holy Spirit, His disciples would not be able to do their job. Simple lang. Alam ng banal na is- ng Panginoon na pag wala ang banal na Espiritu sa buhay ng kanyang mga disipulo, hindi nila magagawa ang trabaho. Acts 1.8 And you will receive power. You will receive power. Yan ang pinahihintay sa kanila. At ang sabi, when the Holy Spirit come upon you, and you shall be what? Witnesses. Magiging saksi daw sila into me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Jesus was talking about having a new birth of power. Lahat ng mana ng palataya ay meron nito. Jesus knew na ang kanyang mga victory, lahat ng accomplishment ng Panginoon, hindi yung magagawa without the help of the Holy Spirit. He knew that it is through this supernatural power from the Holy Spirit, kaya marami siyang accomplishments na magaganda. That's why he have victories and victories. He was able to cast out demons. He laid his hand. He laid his hands upon the sick. Ano nangyari? Gumagaling sila. Because Jesus knew of the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, some people, or I would say most of the believers, they think that Jesus did successfully while He was walking here on earth because He is the Son of God. O tumahimik kayon. That is true. He is the Son of God. He is the only begotten Son. But that is not the justification why or how He was able to act and, as- and achieve His miracles and finish His missions. Jesus knew and He knows He was able to act and achieve all the victories because the Holy Spirit empowered Him. Jesus knew that. Kaya nga kung isipin mo, basahin natin to sa Acts 10, 38. Pakipakita nga, Acts 10, verse 38. Sabay-sabay natin to basahin. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Go ahead. Went about doing good and healing. Amen. Did you see that? God anointed Jesus with Holy Spirit and power. Bakit ganun? If Jesus is the Son of God, why did God anoint Him? If Jesus is God Himself, why did He need the Holy Spirit? Tanungin mo yung katabi mo, do you know? Okay, this is the answer. The answer is in Philippians 2, 5 to 7. I want you to listen to this. 1, 2, 3, basahin natin to. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Basahin po natin. Who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery, to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of man. Basahin natin ang NLT, mas madali. One, two, three. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he didn't think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, 
He gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as what? And was born. If you will really meditate on this, Jesus emptied himself. He stripped up himself of all divine privileges and all rightful dignity that belongs to God. Why? So that he will assume a position of a slave, assume a position of a servant. And this is what happened. He became like you and me. He became like man. He was born as a human being like you and me. Kaya ngayon kung iisipin mo, He is the Son of God and He is the Son of Man. Kaya nababasa natin to. Nagbabasa ba kayo ng Bible? Amen. So Jesus, while He was here on the earth, was a man. Tahimik na naman. Jesus, while here on earth, was a man. At alam natin, He is called the Son of Man. But he is also the Son of God. If that is so, while Jesus was here on earth, what it means, he operated and he functioned as a man, but he is God in the flesh. Nawiwindang ba utak natin? Jesus is God. Don't get me wrong. He paid for your sins. He's the only righteous one that can pay for all the sins of humanity. He is God and He is man at the same time. So God in the flesh. That's what happened. So I want this to sink into your mind for a moment. Though Jesus is the Son of God, He operated, He functioned on earth as the Son of Man, anointed by the Spirit of God. Remember? I think it's in John 2, verse 11. When Jesus turned the water into wine, okay, it says here, the first of his miraculous signs. It was the first. Why? Because Jesus, okay, alam natin to in Acts chapter 1, he need to wait. For that baptism, he need to wait for the Holy Spirit. And John saw when the dove alighted upon him, the Holy Spirit was there. So Jesus waited. He waited. That's why in the Cana of Galilee, that was the first miracle. The first of everything because he needs the Holy Spirit. And that's why I want you to look into the life of Jesus. He was the son of God. He was the son of man. The first of the signs and wonders Jesus did after he received the Holy Spirit was turning the water into wine. Do I hear an amen? So I want you to really meditate on this. Jesus completed his earthly ministry as a man with the help and empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So Jesus submitted himself fully to the leading of the Holy Spirit. That's why he was filled with the Spirit. He was led by the Spirit. You could see that. Even when he went to the wilderness, he was led by the Spirit. The Word of God says that. Tama po ba? And now, he was also empowered by the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus is our role model. Jesus is the best example. What is Jesus trying to show us? River of God, I want you to see this. Apart from the Holy Spirit, we are nothing. Wala tayong magagawa. Apart from the Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. We cannot advance the kingdom of God. That's why I want you to see this. And that's why, listen church, without the infilling, Without the leading, without the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we will not be able to fulfill our life assignments. We will not be able to do missions and advance the kingdom of God. Without the Holy Spirit, we will not be able to finish the race. Hallelujah. Naniniwala ba kayo sa sinasabi ko? Aha. Now, tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Sa kanan. Anungin mo, do you know why the Holy Spirit is given to you? 
Sa kaliwa, alam mo na ba kung bakit? The Holy Spirit is given to every believer so that you will be able to know, you will be able to find, you will be able to act, and you will be able to achieve successfully, completely, all your life assignments, all the missions, all the calling and purposes that God would have them accomplish. Yung gusto na, kaya nga sabi sa Zechariah 4 and 6, ano sabi? Not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Do not do it with your own strength. Do not do it with your own flesh. Let the Spirit lead you. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang bangat Panginoon. The Holy Spirit is your helper. And if you came here today to be healed, it's not the man of God. It is the Holy Spirit. Shang healer. Amen. John 14, 16 to 18. Jesus promised, I will pray the Father and He will give you another helper. That He may abide with you forever. That's another helper. The spirit truth whose the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells in you. Sa lahat ng tumanggap sa Panginoon ngayon, nananahan na sa iyo ang banal na Hispiritu. Hallelujah! He dwells with you and will be in you. That's the indwelling. I will not leave you orphans. This is Jesus. I will come to you. So the Spirit of Jesus is in you. And you know what? He paid a very, very costly price. Para matanggap natin ang bahanal na Espiritu. But just like what I said, He is a gift. This is the gift. He is the gift of God to His church. Amen? Ho. Oh. He will give you another helper. Siya po ay ang katuwang natin ngayon. Yan po ang sinasabi. So why send the Holy Spirit? Alam niyo kung bakit pinadala? Kasi marami tayong gagawin. This is the assurance that if we have the Holy Spirit, we will be able to do, we will continue what Jesus left us to do. Mga trabaho, what are the things we need to do? Hindi ko na po pakahaban. Isaiah 61, 1 to 3, at Mark 16, kanina binasa po yun ni Bishop, 15 to 20. Because of my time is limited. Sa Isaiah 61, 1, 3, this is the job that Jesus left us to do. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those of mourning sign, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy, the garment of praise, and so on. This is to glorify the Lord. Amen. Ito po ang trabaho natin. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, you have a job to do. You will do the works Jesus did. Amen. Marami tayong trabaho. Ang laki ng mundo, bilyong-bilyon. Kailangan makakilala sa Panginoon. Talong mo sa katabi mo, handa ka na ba? Ang dami nating gagawin. The Spirit of the Lord is in you. And I want you to know, this is so exciting because He is your senior partner. I remember when I was young in the Lord, Jesus, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And the Holy Spirit says, we are in partnership. Partner ko siya, kaya dapat partner mo rin. Amen? Wala ako magagawa, hiwalay sa Kanya. Kasi ang banal na Espiritu, kapag may nirelease kang salita, nag-prophesy ka, or may nag-declare ka ng Word of God, He will complete the Word. Just like what it says in Mark 16, 15, verse 20. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the Word to the accompanying signs. Nakita niyo ba yan? Ang banal na Espiritu, siya ang gagawa ng signs and wonders and miracles. Siya ang gagawa, hindi ikaw. Kaya wag ma, wag ka matakot. Kumilos ka lang, sumunod ka lang. Hallelujah! There is no question. 
Amen. Kanina sinabi ko, ang Panginoon, Son of Man and Son of God. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Tao yan, di ba? So walang question, human being tayo. Tao yung katabi mo. Di ba? Pero, sabi sa Galatians 3, verse 26, And if you are a believer of Jesus, you are all sons of God. Hallelujah! Son of God. Anak ka ng Diyos. Kaya may trabaho ka. Meron kang gagawin. I-advance mo ang kingdom ng Panginoon. Do I hear an amen? And if you are son of God, you are called to do the same work and even greater works. Tignan natin ang John 14, 12. Ano sabi dito? Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in Jesus, the works that I do, he will do also. Okay? And greater works than this, He will do because I go to my Father. Nakita mo yan, kung anak ka ng Diyos, you are sons of God. And, nakikita mo ito, sinasabi, most assuredly, ginagarantisado ni Lord. He is saying to you, He is assuring you that you will do the same work. Heal the sick. Pray for the people and they will be healed. Amen? Signs and wonders and miracles. Kaya sinasabi ni Lord, I assure you, you will do the same work that I did. Gagawin mo rin, yung nakalagay sa Mark 15, 16, at ano sabi dito? And greater works! Parang hindi kayo naniniwala. Ngayon, gusto kong isipin mo, kaya ko ba yun? Kaya mo yun! Dahil nasa iyo ang banal na Espiritu! If you believe this, how can I really do this, Pastora? How can I possibly do this the same way Jesus did? Through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Hello? Ang kailangan lang sa mga Kristiyano, gisingin. Gusto nyo dumati, dum, ano, lalo na yung mga pastor dito, ha? Gusto kong dumali, ano, gumaang ang buhay nyo. Turuan nyo lahat ang membro, river of God. I want you to know that you are called to do this. You will lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. You will speak in new tongues. You will trample the enemy under your feet. Amen! Gusto ba natin makuha ang Pilipinas para sa Panginoong Jesus? Kailangan sabihin sa katabi mo, kumilos ka! That's why it's called active age. I'm activating you. I want you. See all this. The same way Jesus did. Through the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus clearly understood the power behind all his victories. Jesus knew. And we should also have the same understanding. We should have the same understanding. Most of the time, many believers are trying to fulfill and finish the race or do the things that God has asked them to do through their own strength. Hindi po dapat. Make your, you know, I remember I was doing so much for the kingdom and up to now I'm doing my best. But the Lord said to me one day, simplify. Sabi ko, Lord, what is simplify? If you have 10 things to do, you, move, you put me first as, ma, as the priority on your list and I will simplify the rest. You take care of three, I'll take care of the seven, sabi ng Panginoon. Sabi ko, Lord, kailangan unahin siya. You have to put God first and He will simplify everything in your life. Don't do it with your own strength. Huwag mong gamitin yung lakas mo. And that's the reason this is sad. Look at John 6, 63. It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. 
Nakita mo yan, sinasabi ng Panginoon, the Spirit gives eternal life. He alone can give that. So yung human effort natin, it profits, it profits nothing. Wala daw magagawa yung human effort. It accomplishes nothing. Because the Spirit is life. Mga kapatid, binigyan na ako ng warning. My time is up. This is one thing I want to tell you. We will see each other again. I know a lot of Christians, and I'm telling you, river of God, I hope this is not us. Many, many believers have treated the Holy Spirit as an option. When in fact, Jesus made the Holy Spirit as a prerequisite. Kailangan siya muna. We got to be filled every day with the presence of God. Hallelujah. Believers of God should be anointed every day by the presence of the Lord. And we have to understand He is the very source of everything. The very source of power. The very source of your healing and restoration. And you can do anything. Many exploits you will do for the kingdom of God through the Holy Spirit. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, magpakapuspos ka na. Okay? You need to overflow with the presence of God. You need to overflow. And I know this is my last words to say to you. There is a cost. There is a cost. Gusto mo ng supernatural? Supernatural is, not, is something that you don't have to wait for. It is something that you have to do. It is something that you have to work at. Sabi nga, I was reading yung mga nine gifts. There is what you call the working of miracles. In other words, you got to work it out. Amen. You want miracles, signs, and wonders to follow you? You got to work it out. You don't have to wait. You need to act. And believe. You need to believe. You need to renew your mind. You need to walk in the spirit. You need to do something in order to get the miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen. Walking in the spirit, walking in the supernatural, it's a choice. It's a choice. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, nasa iyo na yan. The Holy Spirit's in you. To walk in the Spirit, to walk in the supernatural, it's a choice. I want you to know that God did not plan anything na hindi maganda. His plan for you is beyond ordinary. His plan for you is supernatural. His plan for you is extraordinary. Amen? Hindi ka regular, kumbaga sa siopaw. Hindi ka regular. Ikaw extra, special. Amen? Amen? Do you want a supernatural life? Do you want a supernatural ministry? Then you need the supernatural ability, the great God, the Holy Spirit in your life. I want to call for an impartation. Ho! Shara babakaya. I feel the presence of God. When I start to feel it, I always say this in my prophetic classes. Your hair, pag tumatas na yung mga buhok na yan, it's a sensor of His presence. The Holy Spirit is here. Let's all stand up. I want you to speak in your tongues if you have the gift of tongues. Lord, I want a mighty encounter today. I want you to hover in this place. Your children are here, God. Oh. The Lord is here. Remember this, you need to develop intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Apart from the Holy Spirit, we are nothing. You need to spend time there is a price to pay. And the price is time. You need to read the Word of God. You have to meditate the Word of God. You need to hear. Because He has so many revelations. Hindi po ito pang exclusive. Ito po ay para sa lahat ng anak ng Diyos. 
kapatid, prayerlessness is powerlessness. Kailangan mong lumapit sa Kanya. Kailangan mong magpakumbaba ngayon. Kung gusto mo ng Kanyang presensya, kung gusto mo na maranasan, are you desiring spiritual gifts? If you're desiring, I know there will be an impartation tonight. There is an impartation right now. I feel it in my spirit. I see right now in the spirit. Ang laki-laki pong agila umiikot dito. Speaks of the prophetic ministry of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He is here. He is here. Share ba ba yaya si kayo? I want you to act in faith. I want you to act in faith right now. Come and wherever you are, kung hindi ka makababay, tas mo ang kabay mo. Come. Those who want to receive an overflow of the presence of God. It's not about me. It's not about anyone. Set aside everything. Kung gusto mong tanggapin ang banal na Espiritu, gusto mong magkaroon ng impartation, gusto mong maranasan ang presensya niya, lumapit ka sa harap. And those who are desiring spiritual gifts, I see the Holy Spirit moving here. Nagsasor yung malaking eagle right now over us. And I see a trumpet. I see a trumpet. There's a trumpet call. I see chains being broken right now. I see shackles. Pinawasak ang mga kade kadena. Spirit of the living God, Spirit of the living God, we only want to hear Your voice. Make us thirsty. More of, of You, Lord. The living God, make us hungry. Spirit of the living God. Want to know you more and more. We're hanging on every word. When you speak, when you move, when you do what only you can do, it changes us, it changes what we see. And what Sí, 
Is here. When you move, the Lord is here. You move us to when you fall, we fall on our knees. When you fall, we fall at your feet. When you fall, we fall on When you fall, we fall at your feet. When you move, come on, sing it out, church. When you move, you move on our feet. Oh, you move everywhere. When you move, you move us to tears. It's moving. Oh, when you move, when you move it's moving. You move on. to see the supernatural 
the miracles to happen. The glory belongs to the Lord alone. I want you to receive it. I will give, it's my time is over. But one thing I want to tell you, I want you to develop that intimacy with the Holy Spirit. He is your helper. He is your healer. He is your teacher. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus.
Give him all the glory. As Jesus is Let's pray for Israel. Lord, we lift up Israel to your throne of grace by the blood of the Lamb. Lord, we pray for the salvation of the Jews. Let your grace and mercy be, be upon your people, O oh Lord. Lord, let, let us call, cause us, cause them to be jealous, Lord God. To draw them to you, Lord. Save them in Jesus' name. Protect them from their enemies, Lord God. Cover Israel with your precious blood. We declare in decree that Jesus Christ is the Messiah of the Jews and everyone on this earth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Powerful presence of God.